Hey guys, welcome back. We're in the uh, seventh part already, and we're going to work on our footer in this part. And we're going to finish it. It's just a really simple process for the footer. It's just going to contain a few links and our copyright information. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's open up our index in Notepad. And we're going to uh, use a list for our links. They're going to be on the left side of our footer. And they're going to be links to all of our pages, all of our main pages. And in our case, since we only have uh, a home about and contact in our navigation, we're going to just link to a home uh, about and contact in our footer. So I'm just going to use an unordered list for this. We've already done this, so you know how to do it. It's pretty simple. Now we have an unordered list wrapping our list items. That way we can style these individually and we can press uh, push them off of each other using a margin. Click control S to open this up in a browser. There we go. So we want to get rid of the bullets and we want to make them uh, inline and we're going to add a little bit of a margin to the right side. Just come to our style.css and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say footer ul. So we can define the unordered list within the footer. And we're going to say list style none. Control S, browser, F5 refresh, and there we go. Then we're going to say footer. Oops. And we're going to make sure it knows we want it to be the ul for the unordered list containing the li. So we're going to say li within the ul of the footer. And we're going to say a margin to the right, 15 pixels. And we want it to display in line. Control S, browser F5 to refresh, and there you go. Padding 0. Just to reset the default of padding for that. When you start a website, you would start the styles off with a reset and you would run through and reset your ULs, your LIs, you would reset your anchor tags, all your images, you would reset everything so there's no default styles so you never run into an issue but in our case we were just going with a simple few styles for our website so we didn't really go into all that depth but typically that's what you would do you would go through and reset all of the browsers default uh, CSS styles and you can find uh, quite a few, you can just copy and paste, no problem, just to reset all the default styles, but eventually you'll know what you want to reset. Now what we're going to want to do is do a padding in the footer. So padding, uh, like 10 pixels. Wrap a padding all around. And we want to make the height of the footer not defined, so it will expand and be even according to our content. Okay, and we have this uh, margin on the top and bottom of our UL, and we want to reset that too. We don't want to have any default margin on the UL, so we're going to say margin zero, so there's not any defined margin. Browser, if I refresh, and there we go. But it's, we still have a padding on the footer, so it's still going to have the space there, which is what we want. We want it to be even on the left, top, and bottom. Let's remove the background color. Let's see what we want to do with that. We could steal the styles from our container. What happened here? Okay, for some reason I removed the margin top from the aside, so I went ahead and fixed that. I don't know what I ha what happened there. Maybe I forgot to save or something, but I don't know. That's fixed now. So if we look, uh, we could steal the styles from our containers. The white background with a little bit of a border the white background with that little bit of a border around it and use that for our footer content. So we'll come to our side and we'll just take uh, these right here right through there. Come down to our footer and paste them in control S browser refresh and there we go. But what we want to do is uh, add a margin to the top of this as well. And we'll make it 
That's how the margin goes. We'll make it uh, margin top 15 pixels. What did I do? I was having an issue applying a margin to the top of our footer, but I found out what the issue is. Since our uh, right column and left column are actually floating, then the space that they would be occupying would pretty much be collapsed. So the footer has nothing to press against. And since we've applied a clear to the footer, acts like the floats aren't there. And there's nothing for the uh, footer to press the margin against to come off of it for our defined uh, width of margin or length of margin. So what we're going to do is apply the margin to the bottom of our floated elements and that way it'll push the footer down instead of the footer pushing off of something above it. So let's come into our notepad and remove our margin top. We're going to go to the aside and a margin bottom and there we go. Now what we could have done is uh, came in here and added an extra div above the footer and that way it would have something physically to push off of. But to make that a little bit more of a cleaner space, we're just going to keep it, uh, keep it the way it is and just add an extra style. Just like that. Now that will always be 15 pixels off of the aside. So what, in your case, your, uh, your main content will probably be the longer of the two containers. So you may want to make that 15 pixels off of that. So to be safe, what we could do is also add this to that. So whichever one's longer, will have the 15 pixels pushed off of it. Now we should be using a shorthand style for these. And if you want to know what that is, just Google it. Shorthand CSS styles. But in our case, we're just going for simplicity, so we're going to keep it simple. So now if this gets longer than our sidebar, then it will still push that down 15 pixels off of that. So that will work just fine. Okay, let's finish up our footer content. We're then going to make a paragraph tag. Alt 0169, that's a copyright symbol. 2012 awfulmedia.com. Something like that. Obviously, whatever you want to. But, okay, to get this uh, symbol, it's going to work with this, but whenever you render it through PHP or something, it may not. To get that, we held down the Alt key and hit on our numpad or whatever. 0169. And then let go of your Alt key and it will place in the alt code symbol. Now in web design, you would want to use an uh, ASCII code. And to create the uh, copyright symbol with an ASCII code, we would use yeah, just an ampersand, copy, and a semicolon. So we can remove our alt code copyright symbol, control S, browser, F5 to refresh, and there we go. We want to push our copyright line to the right side. So we know how to do that. Style, come down here to our footer, footer, paragraph, so we're going to style, uh, float to the right. Control S, browser, F5 refresh. Let's make our list float to the left. I've had to clear the default styles for the paragraph tag, the margin, and the padding. And now what's going to happen is, since we are floating both the elements uh, within our footer, the container is not going to recognize the content because they are floating. And like, like what we said earlier, that pretty much collapses the space it would normally take up. So what we have to do is, one solution I believe we're going to go with is we could add a div after this. We'll give it the class of clear. Now, we've not defined that class yet, 
what we're going to do is come up here and we're going to define a class called clear. And this class is just going to say clear both. So what's happening now is that, that with this div saying that nothing can float on the left side or the right side, it has to force a space below these two lines because they cannot get on the sides of them and they cannot get below it. So in return, it will expand the actual space that these two lines are taking up. And also in return, making our footer expand with the content. Control S, browser, F5 to refresh, and there we go. That was a little more work than we should have had to do for that, and I apologize. But it works now, and it looks a little messy. Like I said, you could uh, clean it up by applying all of your clears and stuff uh, prior to defining all the other styles at the beginning of your document. That way you know where everything is and there's no default styles defined to anything from the browser. Yeah, it looks pretty good though. What we're going to do in the next tutorial is we're going to uh, make a couple other pages. And since we already have the layout set up, all we have to do is duplicate this page a couple of times and like change our content in the main area to like an article or, or in our case our about page and make a contact page and then we'll be done and then we'll get this website up on a, a, a web host we're going to use a free host for ours because obviously uh, I don't want to pay for a separate host just for this specific tutorial. And it's a, it's a good free host. I used it when I first started out. It's a 000webhost.com. Go ahead and set you up an account if you want to. You can get that already finished so we can get on to that right when we get there. You don't have to do any waiting or anything. Alright, so thank you for watching. And subscribe for the next video.